Hi guys, welcome to another driving video with William. I, uh, I've decided today's topic is going to be once again about merging, but it's going to be a little bit different. Because merging in Perth, as per my last video, uh, is, is one thing, but, but merging in KL is, is a completely different situation. Um, and uh, specifically, subcategory of merging for today's video is going to be about blocking. Now, one of the biggest issues that I find when driving in KL is when you need to merge, right, and you're coming up to, you know, let's say you're on an on ramp and you're trying to join into, you know, like, a heavy traffic situation, you know, even if, whether it's gridlock or slow moving or whatever, right? For some reason, there's this mentality over here that people will save time if they don't let you in front of them. And when you think about it, that is just the dumbest fucking thing in the universe. Like, you let one person in front of you, it's not going to fucking add half an hour onto your trip. You know, at the most, it'll add 20 seconds. And it's like, what's 20 seconds, man? You're going to be in a fucking traffic jam for like the next three hours. Like, there's no point in going and, and cause, like, first of all, you're going to risk getting into an accident yourself. Uh, you're going to risk making the other person get into an accident, even if you don't. And thirdly, if you do it to the wrong person who, you know, let's say they've had a very shitty day uh, and they might want to get out of their car and smash the fuck out of you, you know, um, it's this, this seriously is something, I mean, I know that this video is not going to make it stop, but it is seriously something that needs to stop. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've said it before. If I haven't said it on YouTube, I'm going to say it again. I have a rule. Let one person in and fuck the rest, right? And that rule is just, it makes life so much easier, mate. I mean, like, you let, you see somebody who wants to get in, just let them in. Just let them in, let them, let them come in, right? And, and, you know, then the people that are behind them, you know, fuck them. You can, you can block them if they like, because there are greedy people here who are going to, you know, they're going to see that you let one person in and they will try and get in themselves, even though there's definitely not enough room, they'll try anyway, you know. So, and that, that's another thing, you know, like, as much as you shouldn't block, you also shouldn't try and force your way in, right? Like, I mean, if you, if you are going to need to, to literally risk damaging someone's car to get in front of that person, you should probably wait for the, and, until they go past and then try and get in behind them. And if you have your indicator on, say, you know, like if I need to indicate right and I see that the guy who's next to me is not going to let me in, I'm not going to try and push in front of him. I'll just let him go ahead and then I'll just slot in behind him, you know? like, And nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, if you do that, then you will get in without much issue, okay? Um, but, you know, it really needs to be on both people's parts. The person that is trying to join the lane should not force their way in, and the person that's already in the lane should not be a greedy motherfucker and try and block that person from getting in. Now, if everybody did this, I can pretty much guarantee you, like, Okay, you guys can't see it, but there's a guy who's trying to come in right now, and I'm letting him in. I'm letting him in because I know... Ooh, there's a nice bike. Oh, anyway, sorry, distracted. Um, I'm letting him in because if I don't, then he's going to try and push his way in, which is just going to cause problems for me. So I'm saving myself headaches by just allowing this to just flow. I mean... That's what driving should be about, man. It's all about flow. This is this is what I love about riding my bike is that it's pure flow. You know, you don't 
when you're riding a bike, it's not stop, start, stop, start. You just move. You move with the traffic, and and you just kind of flow through it like a river flowing, you know, around rocks. It's just, and it it makes life easy because most of the time you don't have to deal with dickheads that are trying to block you. Because even if they do try and block you, you just get around them anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, let's have a bit of consideration on the roads. You know, if if you see somebody that wants to get in, let them in. If if you know, if somebody wants to get in, uh, sorry, if you want to get in, then be patient and don't try and force your way in. It'll make lives easier for everyone. It'll make traffic go smoother, and everyone will have a better time. All right. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye.